Yeah, so we're here at Mark's. Mark, what's up, bro? What are, what are you up to here, bro? Oh, uh, shoot, I see you're doing some suspension work on there. Yeah. What's going on, bro? Don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me I'm hanging. Sorry, <laughs> no, no, you're good, you're good. Today, <laughs> we're doing a, a ball joint, uh, inner air tie rods, and, a, and a pole struts. Yeah. He hit something oh, on the way shoot. back from wherever he was working. Yeah. And, uh, Oh, that happens, dude. You hit a bump, it's fucking nasty in there. Yeah. Everything was decked up, bro. The truck was gone. The, the bargement was gone. The internet and tire rubber gone. Yeah. <laughs> so, quick in and out job real quick. Nice. So, Sam Moyer's uh, installing a Vortex. Okay, oh, oh Vortex. A first-ever Vortex for a F-150 2023, bro. 2023? Oh, shoot. First one ever. And we're yeah. doing it here at the shop. Nice, man. That's pretty cool, dude. That's, that's we haven't forgotten cool. about our other projects that we have. Yeah, of course not. Yeah. Um, we'll be getting to them. Um, yeah. Just, it's just, you know, it's got a lot of work going. Yeah, that's true. That's it's for got sure. a lot of work. And Which is I'm, good, though. It's, it's good. You know, you got you got work. You can stay busy. Keep making money. Yeah. I got that's a guy going to come tomorrow to help me out. Nice. So I'll have, I'll have two guys and with me all in ass. Yeah. So we'll nice. Pick this up that's good, bro. Well, let me let me go over here with Sam and see what he's up to. Okay, bro. Sam, what's up, bro? Right. What do you what do you got going here? Uh, right now, this brand new truck, man. This engine doesn't even, dude. Yeah. This engine looks clean. Twenty twenty three, bro. Wow, man. Yeah. Twenty three. He's already putting a force induction on it. Wow. Yeah. It's a pretty a pretty interesting color. I kind of wonder what it is. If you guys know in the comments, you know the color or what? Oh no. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you guys know in the comments the color of this truck, you know, feel free to comment down below. Uh, but I do see he has, it's a pretty well specced out truck because it has the cameras uh, there on the side of your mirror. Modified. Oh, okay. So it's going to be a different grill as well? No, it's not going to be a different grill. We're just going to have to like cut out some of the ports so it can fit. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I think a piece of the back. Yeah. You're gonna get cut off in a couple of them. And the cool thing about these kits is that they always have like instructions with them. So like you really can't go wrong with 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 it. Of course you know you have to have some knowledge. Uh and then it'll it'll be a little easier than if you just try to do it uh on your own not knowing what you're really doing. Somebody with some knowledge will know what to do. Alright alright Sam, so I was gonna ask you, what would you rate this uh in difficulty level from like one to five <laughs> one to five we'll keep it for me i'll say a four wait five being the hardest yeah five being oh, the hardest okay um, all right let's just say three then three and for somebody that doesn't really know that wants to try to do it on their own well for someone that doesn't know it yeah. might be a little bit more difficult maybe a four yeah but with instructions, it makes it a lot easier, but you have to know. Yeah, you have to have some type of, of knowledge of, of like wrenching and, and taking stuff apart. So, yeah, that but, makes sense. But well, I read through the instructions and it doesn't seem like that crazy. Just the modification parts might be a little difficult to someone. Yeah, just some tools that you might need, stuff like that. It's in case you are wondering, you know, to do this, if you want to do this on your own, it's kind of like do it at your own risk type of thing. Um, because if you do cut something wrong or, you know, you do something wrong, you, there's kind of having to replace parts and yeah that's pretty much it on that on that aspect and have most of it done uh, quite a bit done <laughs> the disassembly is going pretty smoothly right now yeah that's true i'm about to get to the modifying parts and then after that i think there's still a little bit more disassembly after that and then putting it back together yeah which is probably going to be a little bit more difficult than disassembly yeah that's a, that's a part that's true oh, it's okay 2023 F-150 uh, 4x4 uh, It's gonna be the first truck getting the first Vortec for this year for of this vehicle. Year. Yeah. Yes, so We'll be the first ones to do it here in, uh, yeah. in the state of Texas. Yeah, 2023 in, in the world. Yeah. The thing that That, that takes forever are the little knickknacks that you have to do to Actually clearance the, the, the piping. Yeah. For the, the pro charger. Uh, find the lower uh, radiator hose because okay, so he's modifying the yes the radiator hose and radio, he's, he's radio. modifying the front grill to put the cooler 
Okay. Mount it. So yeah, I don't know so if you want to mount the intercooler. Go inside and talk with Sam real quick. Yeah, I'll go. Uh, but yeah, man, we're excited, man. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Excited. I mean, it's this gonna be, it's gonna get tuned by Luis Ortiz, of course. Yeah, Luis Ortiz will tune it. He's tuned by Pro Charger um, to get a lot more power out of it. I think it was, uh, you know, I was putting down like 300 ish, and I think we got like over. All right, Sam, so what's going on so far with the uh, progress? <laughs> um, so, th th this piece right here? Yeah. I cut that off of this. Uh, I had a little actuators. Okay. Or uh, what do you call them? Shutters. Shutters. Yeah. It has a little actuator motor, and it will shut the the grill, the airflow, or whatever. Oh wow. So all that got cut off. Got cut off. Okay. It's making space for the intercooler. Now I'm modifying the hose assembly. Yeah. I have to cut the original hose and make two elbows out of it. Cool. And we supply you with new hose for the heater or whatever. For that intercooler. Yeah. For yeah. It. Nice, man. That's crazy. That's pretty cool. So, uh, hopefully by tomorrow, right? Maybe it'll you'll get, get get some more progress on it and get that going. Yeah. Pretty cool, dude. That's coming together. It's just a lot of little steps. A lot of yeah, a lot of little little modifying here and there. Yeah. Small steps, but a lot of them. Yeah, for sure. The, the original the original thermostat housing doesn't yeah. get used. It comes with a the kit. This kit comes with like a ninety degree. Oh yeah. Okay. So, I like like an aftermarket, yeah. Yeah, and the hoses, the original hoses. Yeah. Cool. Nice. So uh, there's some some good progress there, Mark. You want to see the head in it? Uh, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about this car right here. Okay. So, we're in electrical issues. Yeah. Right. They attempted to fix certain issues with the wiring. Uh huh. It worked. The guy drove it. Yeah. We put the turbo kit, we had to relocate the computer, relocate the fuse box. So there's a lot of wires that we had to uh, disassemble, like a harness that we had to tear apart to make everything stretch. Connector to the PCM was chewed up and yeah. there was heat grab, but it wasn't really done properly good. And there were some wires exposed. And, and the process of us doing it, two of the wires arced each other and they burnt the computer. Oh. Got a new computer. Okay. Um, Pretty much the same issues, but but not the same issues. Uh, now everything's running the way it should, but we're still getting uh, codes on, on the cluster for a charging system, uh, hill climb, uh, steering wheel. Yeah. Uh, multiple misfires while, while, while we just started. So I got Sam on it. Yeah. Sam went to the fuse box. Uh, he came to a conclusion that the body control module. Yeah. That's the actual fuse block that's inside the car. Okay. Might have gotten damaged. Yeah. Because of because of what had happened. Yeah, because of what happened over here. Up here in the front. That so, would make uh, sense. Yeah. We get a we get a buddy that has a software he does here close by. He's yeah. gonna come and he's gonna see if he can actually read the body control module. If he can't read it, yeah. Then that means then it's that's shot. What it is, and yeah. we have to get another one. If he can read it, that mm -hmm. means all he has to do is just reflash it to the car. Yeah. Because it might have lost memory. Yeah, true. Because all the issues that we're getting are the same issues that people have done online, and it all came down to the body, body control module. Imagine. So yeah. uh, we're not giving up on this car quite yet. Yeah. The first motor that built, uh, new bearings, crank, just uh, piston rings, all that good stuff. Yeah. It's got redone and all that good stuff. Oh shoot! But uh, this one, well, we were talking about this one earlier. Yeah. Um, let's let's get in there. <laughs> and this one as well. We got everything for it. Swap. Yeah. You just gotta get, you just gotta be patient in the process of, of doing these builds because if you get too excited, then you just lose a step and then you could go back and retrack and yeah, it's true. Kind of hard goal. Yeah, you, can, you don't want to rush through it too. Yeah. All right, so there you go. Bro, so that's pretty good progress on that truck right there for today, and uh, and then tomorrow you guys will probably continue with it right yeah and that's pretty good all right so if you guys did like the content today make sure to like share subscribe and I'll, i have his page uh grease garage on on facebook linked on the description box below all, all the time there because uh he's actually one of the he was actually one of the first mechanics that helped me out with my my car so he, he's always been there on the description box so if you guys are looking for his info just scroll down there and you'll find his info uh like share subscribe hit the bell button uh we'll have more progress on that and then more progress on this car and a bunch of other builds that he has 
a bunch of other projects like that. GT500. Lined up. Lined up, yeah. And other projects lined up. If this is content that interests you, don't miss out. Peace.